today. Walk the tightrope, vacation on the high plains, and dine in style in Paul's Valley. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds and this week's show is all about staying cool. Yeah, it's that time of year and that's why we're right here at Heritage Park in Hera where they have just opened this incredible new Splash at the Park. You know, forget the old water wiggle and the slip and slide. These people have taken fun to a whole new level. Our Jeff Roberts has found a place in Norman that's done the same thing and he got the whole Discover Oklahoma crew in on the act. Hey Day Entertainment Center here in Norman, a blast for kids of all ages, so this big kid got this assignment. We are going to have a good time. Come on, I want to show you what's all around here. Come on. Yeah, it's a great place. You know, we've got, we've got laser tag, two-level laser tag arena. We've got our indoor ropes course that you can see right behind me. Get 15 people up there at a time. It's a lot of fun. About 45 arcade games, miniature golf. So we've got something for everybody, all ages. Through these doors right here, the most awesome experience you'll ever have laser tag. 40 people can do this, and I'm going to be one of them. Whoa! Where did all my Discover Oklahoma friends come from? These guys are seriously out to get me. Let's see, I've tagged everyone except Jennifer, I think. Man, she is one good hider. Where could she be? This is so fun. It's like getting to be on the this playground adorable, again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Steven, the idea here is to get to where you can do this without having to hang on anything, right? But you're all safe, no. you're all hooked up. There's never nothing to worry about when you guys come up here. Okay. If you fall, you'll just hang there, so no, no troubles or no worries. Um, a lot of people, they're brave enough to go across with no hands or whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna go on this one and I'm gonna try to do it with no hands. Are you ready? Okay, I don't think Jen is ready for Ringling Brothers yet, but maybe with a little more practice. During the winter time, we still got the laser tag going, ropes, games, and then when it gets nice like this, they can take advantage of the miniature golf. Did he say miniature golf? I love miniature golf. There's some easy holes and there's some hard holes where water comes into play and you can, you can knock your ball into the drinks. They've got everything here, including some good eats. We've got the pizza, the sandwiches, we've got our pepperoni rolls, um, we also have strombolis. Um, we've got Philly cheesesteak or vegetarian. It's an awesome place to come eat, drink, relax, be with friends. And this isn't just some little concession stand. This is a full-fledged restaurant. It's good to have the games over here if you want a babysitter for the kids for a little bit while you're eating pizza, so it works out. Games? Did he say games? How did I miss that? Who knew Shell was a Bonnie Parker? Well, as we've shown you here at Heyday Entertainment Center in Norman, you can have a blast doing all kinds of stuff. We put our pizza order in, so SpongeBob and I are gonna have some pizza. You hungry, SpongeBob? <laughs> Heyday Entertainment Center in Norman, I'm Jeff Roberts. Well, that place is definitely cool and a whole lot of fun. And what could be any more fun in the summertime than to load up all the kids in the family truckster, something like our great Ford Explorer, hitting the road for the perfect summer vacation. Our Shell Wagner and family did just that and they found the ideal vacation spot in Woodward. If you just looked up to find summer slipping away and you never did quite get it together to take a summer vacation, you need not worry, you just need Woodward. Located in the midst of northwestern Oklahoma's geological wonderland, Woodward makes a perfect home base, but it's also a destination in its own right. If your kids are like mine, a vacation spot has but one prerequisite, is there a pool? And if you're talking Woodward, the answer is unequivocally yes. Crystal Beach Park has a waterfall playground that's colorful, clean, and inviting, with a tall tangle of water slides, a play area for smaller kids, including dump buckets, and even a separate pool for toddlers. There's also plenty of shaded lounging, 
all the kids' favorite food groups at the concession stand, and lots of wide open waters of varying depths where you and your family can make a splash. I really love the size of this park, large enough to keep the girls entertained for a good long time, but not so crazy big that I worried about losing them. Outside the water park, you'll find eclectic climbing structures that are helpful for eventually luring your kids out of the water. Of course, once you do, they'll be hungry, and Woodward's got a whole menu of dining possibilities. This historic building here in Woodward was originally an automobile manufacturing plant, but nowadays, thanks to the great food, you'll find a lot more cars driving in than driving out. Folks drive in, of course, for the barbecue, prepared with WAG's proprietary rub. The ribs and the brisket are famous way beyond state borders, but that's not all. We have a really excellent catfish, which is American grown, and uh, we sell a lot of catfish. The chicken fry is a hand-breaded chicken fry, which weighs about eight ounces. We do an onion blossom, and that seems to be a favorite of many people. Beyond the savory selections, the atmosphere is just as intriguing. From the antique car turned salad bar to the walls lined with local art, nearly 50 original pieces, and all of it for sale. Well, almost all of it. No, we sell all the art except for one piece, and that's the lady on the north wall. And that's the first piece I ever bought, and uh, no amount of money could buy her. <laughs> With tummies full, perhaps it's time to tuck in for the evening, and the old Holiday Inn B&B is a smart choice. This house was built in 1928 by Mrs. Holiday, hence the name Holiday Inn, long before there was a chain. Each of the four guest rooms boasts a private bath and includes breakfast. Breakfast is served in the dining room, and it's a three-course meal, and it's quite an affair. It minimum it takes an hour, so it is all made by hand. So, made by me. Karen will also put together a lovely high tea upon request with finger sandwiches featuring fresh herbs from her backyard garden. All the sustenance you need to continue to explore this northwestern Oklahoma hotspot. Now there, feel better? There's no need for vacation worry when you've got Woodward. And yes, kids, there is a pool. In Woodward, I'm Shell Wagner. Don't go anywhere, we have lots more cool places coming up. He brought us a one-of-a-kind museum in Paul's Valley, but it turns out Kevin Stark's imagination stretches way beyond action figures. We'll taste the fruits of his latest venture when Discover Oklahoma continues. Hey, how's Kevin doing? Great, absolutely loves being in college. And Sam? Just started driving. Mm, watch out. Yeah, we just added him to our AAA membership. Smart move. <laughs> I'm just glad we have good insurance. What do you guys use? We switched over to AAA Auto Insurance. With another driver in the house, it just made sense to check out pricing. AAA saved us a ton. I didn't know they had insurance, too. Yeah, auto home and life. Remember that time when we snuck Dad's car out and got that flat? Here they go again. Triple oh, A came and fixed it, and the folks never found out. Found out what? Nothing, Dad. Talking about the time you two snuck the car out while we were gone. You, you knew? knew? Well, of course. Why do you think Mom and I added you girls to our AAA membership? Never told you I always checked the odometer, did I? Oh, great idea. Thanks, Grandpa. AAA Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, where we're keeping it cool this week. And one of the coolest places we found restaurant-wise is not in one of our major metro areas. It's down in the town of Falls Valley. Ardino Lolly volunteered to give it a taste. 
Kevin Stark is a busy man. He's also a gifted and talented artist and is really in the business of creating. For example, he runs an art gallery. He's the curator of the very famous toy and action figure museum. And now his new creation is Stark Fine Dining just north of downtown Paul's Valley. The restaurant bug bit him many years ago. And now that he actually has one, while it's been a lot of hard work, he absolutely loves it. It's like having a dinner party every night, but you just don't know who's showing up. Kevin says he wanted something different for this area, and he wanted a restaurant that was nice, had great atmosphere, and a quality menu with a lot of variety. He calls it casual fine dining. The atmosphere is casual and extremely comfortable. What we have here is really uh, an urban experience uh, out in the middle of the country. So, uh, like I said, it's really casual and all, but it's, it's, it's nice. It's a very nice restaurant. This is a very nice restaurant who's quickly becoming known for several reasons, the first being a great stopping point. Somehow we've become, in a short time, the, the place to stop to have dinner uh, on your way to Dallas or, or back. Uh, I would say 80% or more of our clientele is from out of town, uh, everywhere from Ardmore to Oklahoma City. And the other reason they are becoming popular is their incredible food and diverse menu. For example, there are some tasty vegetarian dishes like the Thai yellow curry, or how about Doris Day's linguine? But Stark Fine Dining is also known for their great steaks, as Kevin told me in his own funny way. They are so tender. People have told me they can cut them with a fork. So, and I've seen people do it. So, uh, but we start out with the greatest cut of meat, best cut of meat. The uh, cattle are grass-fed, uh, it's totally stress-free beef. Every night they sleep in hammocks and they are lulled to sleep by Olivia Newton-John. Now, I pay extra for that, by the way. <laughs> also, the crab cakes are mouth-watering delicious. The supreme compliment, Kevin told us, came from several people from Maine. They said his crab cakes were better than what they'd had in their home state. Now, in keeping with Kevin's style of being different, their most popular dessert is the jalapeno apple pie. It was going to be a specialty dessert one weekend, but with such a big hit, they put it on the menu for good. Before this became a restaurant, it was a winery. In fact, the vineyard is still there and active, and those grapes produce the house wine. Accompanying the top quality food is the atmosphere, as I mentioned earlier, and contributing to the fun atmosphere is some of Kevin's artwork. These are portraits that I did of uh, famous people that influenced me growing up. Uh, everyone from Ho-Ho the Clown to, you know, Willy Wonka and Doris Day and, and uh, Bella Lugosi and the Four Beatles. So a lot of different people. And it's funny because when I was in the works of, of opening a restaurant, people would ask me, so does this mean you're going to quit doing art? And, and I did all 15 of these pieces, especially for the restaurant. So, and I did them in a month's time. So I said, no, I'm not gonna quit doing art. I still do that too, so. Uh, so really the artwork here is a reflection of my personality. Personality, atmosphere, and great food are always a fun combination. And you can find all of those at Stark Fine Dining in Paul's Valley. I'm Dean O'Lally. Next up, appreciating art in Anadarko. Art from seven nations when Discover Oklahoma continues in two short minutes. It was almost comical. It was like, I can't believe this even happened. I look down the street, I see there's a tree across my son's car. I was just like, I called my AAA agent, Patty. She said, we can take care of this. AAA and Patty are great. You just feel like they have your back. They make everything as easy as possible. I mean, they really take good care of us. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. 
It was a Saturday morning and I went to an exercise class. As soon as the class ends, I go to the parking lot and somebody had stolen my car. I couldn't believe it. So I called AAA Insurance. They offered me a rental car. They told me everything was going to be all right. So when my car was found a week later, they said, Bob, you need to change the locks on your car. I would have never thought about that if it wasn't for AAA. They really took care of me. Get great service, low rates, and a free auto insurance quote today. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. We're keeping it cool this week with our friends in Hera at their brand new Splash at the Park. You know, they've got some shade here. You can bring your kids, get an ice cold beverage from the Splash Pad Grill, and then sit down with the brand new copy of Oklahoma Today magazine. Oklahoma Today's July-August issue is now available on newsstands everywhere. And it's one you won't want to miss. It's the Indian Country issue. Discover Roy Bonney's graphic, novel-inspired Cherokee art. Also, Finding One's Roots is back in style, and Oklahoma has all kinds of resources for tracking down your Native American lineage. And the beat goes on, Oklahoma Indians making names for themselves in hip-hop. Get your copy of this history-packed edition at TravelOK.com or tourist information centers and select bookstores around the state. Oklahoma Today, the magazine of Oklahoma since 1956. Every year in August, you can travel to Anadarko and see an incredible display of Native American art at the American Indian Expo. But Ardino Lolly fans, you don't have to wait till August because there is Native American art on display in Anadarko all year round. Native American art is amazingly expressive, rich with symbols, and in so many instances, there's always a deeper meaning beyond what you see. And a fun place to explore those deeper meanings and to see the various forms of expressive art is at the Gallery of Art in Anadarko. Owner Joe McBride Jr. and his wife have always been admirers of Native American art, and what started out as collecting that art for their home eventually turned into a museum. In their home at one point, McBride said he and his wife owned 165 Native American paintings, and from there the idea was born to open a gallery, and they did just that in 1983. Well, they, most of the artists are from the 50 mile circle. Of course, that takes in a lot of territory. Lawton, parts of Oklahoma City, Clinton. Uh, but they're basically what we call local artists. From the Kiowa, KCA, Comanche, and Apache, there's a diverse collection displayed, and one of the featured artists here is Anthony Yellowhair. All in all, approximately 40 different artists' work can be found, but once you are browsing through the museum, you'll discover they have more than just paintings. Well, we have a lot of artifacts, uh, and what we call arts and crafts, beadwork, silverwork, featherwork. Things like that, it's, that's probably a third of our inventory. We have several cases and a variety of different uh, things. You will find everything from contemporary to traditional to modern Native American art. The sculptures here reflect all kinds of expressions and emotions, a very specific time and place in history. And the interest in Native American art has worldwide appeal. Well, we get a lot of uh, European visitors out of Fort Sill, believe it or not. They were on their list of places for the foreign officers to visit that are in the artillery school at Fort Sill or stationed there. Mr. McBride added they also get people from all 50 states and a number of foreign countries coming through to take in the history and various expressions of the Native American art found at the Gallery of Art in Anadarko. I'm Dean O'Lally. Starting to warm up a little bit and I gotta tell you the splash pad is looking better and better. And if you're looking for another waterful wonderland to take your kids to this summer, we'll tell you about that coming up. There's no better place to slide through summer. We'll take you there when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns. I hope we didn't forget anything. I think we're all set. Hard to believe Megan is in college. Do you remember how she cried and cried when we dropped her off at kindergarten? We were both crying. Good thing we're only a few hours away. Last box. You can call us tomorrow. I will, Daddy. And one more thing. <laughs> You're going to need these. No way. Are you kidding? Oh I get Mom's car? OK, sweetheart, but you have to be careful. Now, I put the AAA insurance policy and the membership information in the glove box. Just in case anything should happen. 
<laughs> okay. I'm really glad we switched our auto insurance to AAA. It really saved us some money. Not to mention peace of mind. It's nice knowing AAA will be there if a car ever breaks down, too. John, are those tears I see? No. Aww. AAA Auto Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. One of the leading causes of crashes on the road today is distracted driving. Now that everybody texts as a way to communicate, many feel obligated to text while driving. In fact, drivers who text are 23 times more likely to crash or get into a near crash situation than drivers who are not texting. Texting drivers take their eyes off the road, their hands off the wheel, and their minds off of what they should be doing, driving. That's why AAA strongly supported House Bill 1316 to make texting while driving illegal in the state of Oklahoma. Though the bill didn't pass this year, AAA is determined to ultimately see an anti-texting law passed. It's against the law to drink and drive. It should be against the law to text while driving. Be smart. Don't text and drive. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. Well, there's probably no easier way to get cooled off during the dog days of summer than to find a water park somewhere in Oklahoma, and that's exactly where our Jeff Roberts is. He is spending the day at Whitewater Bay. Whitewater Bay opened up in 1981. You've driven by it 100 times, but you haven't been here recently. Let's see what's inside these gates. Come on. We have uh, more than 18 rides and attractions. We have anywhere from just a, a kid's pool, and then we have all the way up to the speed slides that are coming off of towers that are 65 feet high and even more. We also have like a lazy river that keep, people can just relax and, uh, and float around on a tube and have a great time just relaxing and sunning. Uh, we have a wave pool that's uh, 850,000 gallons and makes waves that are sometimes three and four feet high. So what I'm standing in now is a private cabana that you can rent this space for a day and not only do you have your own private space with like the, the, uh, the patio set with four chairs, we also out in the sun, you have a sun space that's private and you, can, you have lounge chairs there. And then the best thing I think about it is that you have waiter waitress service that, that all you have to do is just pick up the phone or snap a finger and we're right there to take your order. We'll bring you anything you want. Are you guys hungry? Yeah, I want something sweet. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, Cabana, Cabana boy. Here I am, ladies. Hi. Okay, what can I get you? Um, a shark bait pizza. Shark bait pizza. New. And a funnel cake. A funnel cake. A tropical pizza. Great, one tropical pizza. All right, I'll take care of it. I go. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. You saw the orders uh, come in. We had the uh, the shark bait pizza. I said bite one time. Oh, great. And I also said uh, the tropical pizza. This is Desiree. She's with me. Now, you're going to walk me through how to do this real quick, uh, right? Of course I am. So we go like sprinkle, sprinkle, Oh, sprinkle. No. 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 No, no, no. You grab cheese. Oh, look at there. Emerald has nothing on me. Here you go. Yes. Dig in. Dibs on this one. All right, part of my job as Cabana Boy is to do what the girls want. They want to go down the big kahuna. We're going to get it all right here on the helmet cam. Let's go find out what happened. absolute great time here at Whitewater Bay and you can too. The entire family will love it. Memorial Day to Labor Day. Check it out anytime you can. Boy. That means me. I gotta go. 
Well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for coming along. We hope it helps you keep cool this summer. And if you do want to come out and enjoy the new splash at the park here in Hera, don't forget they've also got the new amp at the park. It's out here on the lake. They have movies and concerts, things going on every weekend into the fall. If you'd like to find a complete schedule, you can go to our page, the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Next week, we're discovering new destinations along the Mother Road, kayaking on Oklahoma City's Lake Overholzer, dining in Weatherford on fabulous food from the 50s, and joining Yukon's Best as they light up the night. Hope you'll join us. Until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.